block shots for Sarah Hansen. So it's not a stretch to imagine that Sarah here is really good defensively. Sarah, you lead the country in block shots and blocks per game. Now, I've been on the receiving end of a block shot, but tell me what it feels like to just swat someone. It's very empowering and it's a great confidence builder to just shut someone down. I don't know, it just feels really great. I feel like it's probably a great way to get some aggression out. Yes, definitely gets me going, gets me in a more aggressive mindset, gets the whole team going, it's fun. So you're one of the most prolific shot blockers in BYU history and, and in WCC history for that matter. There's only two people in BYU history who have more and they are? My mom and my sister. How badly do you want to pass them? So badly, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. I should be able to pass my sister. I don't know if by the end of this season or next, but my mom has set a pretty high goal of 490 something. And yes, I'd ha I'll have to do some work to get there. Mom but knows we'll best, see. right? Yes, mother knows best. <laughs> okay, you're gonna show us exactly how to block a shot now. Okay, let's do it. Joining me now is Kaylee Smiler who graciously is gonna let me block her shot. <laughs> Some of the things that I like to focus on when blocking is keeping them in front of me, not falling for their shot fakes, and then just timing it up and blocking it. So let's get to it. That was nice. <laughs> So unfortunately for you, Sarah, you can't major in block shots, but luckily you're pretty good at something else. Yeah, I'm a bioinformatics major. Let me show you what I do. Let's do it. So we're here in the life sciences building where you spend a fair amount of time for your major, your bioinformatics major. Just explain what that is, first of all. It's half computer science, half biology. It's often used in research, especially in genetics and with DNA analysis like is done in this lab. So what would you do with that kind of degree after school? I'm planning on using it more for programming and hopefully I could get a job remotely and travel, maybe play some basketball, we'll see. We would use this program to help align the different genes from different species of, de of fish. And we'd compare them and find out where they're very similar or where they're very different. And we would use that information to try and see what that gene looked like thousands of years ago before it evolved and split into the different fish species. You have a 3.9 GPA. You're on the WCC Commissioner's Gold Honor Roll the last couple years. Oh yeah, you're also a D1 athlete. Um, how hard is it to balance basketball and academics? Uh, it definitely takes a lot of work, a lot of time management. You have to plan ahead because we're gone for half a week every other week during season. Yeah, and you just gotta talk to your professors, get a good relationship with them, and they've been really helpful and worked with me a lot. 